I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Pretty fucking unappreciated, Al. What a pisser. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Hello, and thanks, guys. Um, I've tried live streaming earlier, but it wasn't really working very well. So I've deleted those streams. I thought I'd do a quick update. Um, not much happening today. As you know, haven't gone out. Mental health status, minus five. Again. I'm feeling... Pretty ignored, pretty overlooked, and I've been getting this feeling for 53 years now. Whatever I say is ignored. I don't expect things to be done the way I say they need to be done, but generally people do things after I've said this is the way to do, do them, after they've realised this is what needs doing. So to me, it's just frustrating that I have to keep going through the same shit all the time. When eventually people will realise, oh yes, he was right. He was right when his arms fucking on the floor in the kitchen. Blood everywhere. Oh yes, we did do things wrong. I've been hearing that on the news for most of my life now. Oh, lessons will be learned. Fuck they will be. Lessons will be learned in how to avoid just this in the fucking first place. Lessons will only be learned if people stop trying to cover up for each other. Lessons will be learned only when people decide to think for themselves. Instead of being Nazis and doing what they're told. Like good little boys. Good little boys and girls think for themselves and follow instructions if they agree with them. Not just do what the Nazis did and blame everyone else. Oh, I was told by my officer. I was told by my senior officer. No. Investigations of complaints, for example, need to investigate the complaint, not the paperwork. I've asked for a copy of the internal report on the complaint. It's a public document. So they've ignored me on that. Wolf and Forest Council have ignored me. But then I, I expect them to ignore me anyway because I'm the little troublemaker that has been branded a busybody. I'm the one people don't return phone calls on. I'm the one with mental health problems where no one will talk to me and they'll just send me threatening letters and emails. In the case of Waltham Forest Lady's threat, they haven't even bothered to send me a letter. It's just on an email. I'm sure that last letter was unlawful as well. It only gave me three days to take down a camera and they didn't even wait for the paperwork to get here. If they have posted a copy, then surely I should get the letter before action is taken. But no, I have to do what I'm told. I'm sick of it. I would rather die. I'm surrounded by disrespectful fucking idiots that don't know how to manage their children Disrespectful and racist council that uphold people being racist in their departments because they can't be bothered to carry out a proper investigation. They just do a box ticking exercise. Waltham Forest are putting people's lives at risk. As soon as people start getting ignored, that's when people's lives are threatened. Not just from suicide but also because they might actually be saying something that needs doing. And that will put people's lives at risk. It will put children's lives at risk also. But I've been saying this for years now. 
public bodies must not be able to ignore anyone. Any single message or email or communication of anything could be vital to someone's life. And if they just suddenly ignore all emails, then someone could die. We'll have another we will learn lessons. Chelmsford Borough Council learned because they had unmonitored mailboxes which were permanently monitored. Someone in IT would go for all the no reply mailboxes every couple of hours I think it was just to make sure there wasn't anything in there that you know shouldn't have been overlooked because generally no reply mailboxes are mailboxes that take incoming emails or have a rule on the server to bounce the email. I mean if it bounces an email that's not half as bad as just accepting an email because at least the person that sent it may know. Not everyone sends an email and expects to check their email to see if it's gone. Due to anxiety of not being able to communicate with anyone I generally try and check this is the frustrating bit I've got with local authorities and you know people in general that a lot of local authorities under the remit of security have turned off automatic replies and yet with firewalls the way they are and antivirus systems the way they are and the power of servers that we have now 10 years ago I could understand it there was a lot of load on servers with emails emails don't even generate 2% load on servers now so adding antivirus on things like that most servers nowadays can cope with it easily not even breaking into a sweat don't even start the fans up So there's no reason that they can't have auto responses on the mailboxes. There's absolutely no reason why each department can't have its own DDI, direct dial-in number. But no, they'd rather have a voice menu system. And I think they use the voice menu, in fact I know they use a voice menu system as a deterrent because I've been in so many companies where they've actually said that if we put enough menus on the first couple of menus, the first op couple of options, then people will eventually give up if it's not that important. So people giving up on voicemails or voice menu system type phones and they're getting ignored on emails. So where's the scrutiny on all this? The public body should be encouraging people to call, call in. I've actually tried contacting LBC for the first time in my life today. I got through to one of the producers and they said they were going to call me back and they didn't. But I didn't expect them to call me. Well, I didn't expect them to get through if they called me back because I blocked private numbers. So that's the way things are. But at least I know how it works now. You call one number, you get through to the researcher and they call you back and then you can talk as long as you want. I don't know. I won't keep this too long because, well, nothing to say really, is there? Please like, subscribe, share. Please share these videos. Encourage other people to watch them. I'm trying to get a campaign going. I can't do it with 20. I thank every one of my subscribers. But I need a lot more people backing me to actually get this campaign going. We need to improve people's access to public services. We need honour and integrity and transparency brought back into public life. Instead of spin and cover up and lies, we need to get rid of it. This, this has been going on in Parliament, 
in theory, since John Major's time when he decided to clean up Parliament. And we've had so many parliamentary clean-ups. We all need to stick together in this. We all need to be one voice. If we stand together, we can do something. The power of the group legally obtaining our rights back because what they've done is they've removed our rights quietly and secretly our rights have been taken away magna carta human rights all the rights that we've got over the centuries are being taken away and people are walking into it without realizing it the right to ask questions that's a human right the right to expression that's a human right the right to be treated fairly, that's a human right. It's all being trampled on. And the politicians are all in it together. I don't know if any politicians are on my side. If you are, I'm sorry for putting you in the same boat as everyone else. If you are, join my campaign, subscribe, share, leave a comment. We must do this before it's too late and we haven't got the right to do it anymore. Thank you and I'll speak to you soon.